Hey there guys, so today I'm doing a special kind of video I'm showing you guys, or telling you guys, my top 15 tips for improving your skill on Geometry Dash So, let's just get right in But before, okay, before we get in, okay I am not the best player, okay, and I'm a mobile player as well I have played PC before, but I've only played it like once or twice so I, I, I'm not good on PC at all, really. Well, better than Josh already. So, you know. But, um, yeah, it's tips, but they're mainly for mobile players, not um for PC. But still can. Most of them can still help you on PC. Anyway, now, tip number one. Play practice mode over multiple times. And try to get your attempts within about 20. Most people say within 10. But often I've I've played a level. Gotten like 30 attempts. And then in practice mode. And afterwards I do manage to beat it. Those are like easier levels. Which aren't demons. With demons I think you should get within 20. If it's a harder demon. Like maybe club step of dead lot. Do try to get within 10. I guess. And then tip two, don't rage, don't quit or rage after only five attempts. Because the, the attempts for demons and other levels will go into a thousand. And if you do rage after that, basically you're going to like come back the next day, aren't you? Because you want to beat the level. And you're going to rage quit because you, you're unhappy, right? You're not beating the level. But then you, you aren't, you're only having five attempts. So you're never going to beat it. If you keep on taking constant breaks. Because I see a lot of people get raged after they die once. And then they quit after like only 10 attempts. Like you're never going to beat it if you keep on taking just 5 attempts. Okay. Straight into 3. Play challenges to, to practice a mode you aren't good at. So there's like wave challenges. Ship challenges. All of that stuff. You can just search. You'll find millions of them. Now, obviously, these are for, like, if you're already kind of good at it. But there are easier ones out there. And either way, if you can beat them, does mean you are good at that mode if you can beat them consistently. So, just try to beat them. Okay. Number four. Now, I don't see a lot of people bring this up. I have watched a couple of top ten tip videos. I've tried to keep these as only my ideas. Some of them... Or probably going to be found in other videos. But this I know for a fact. I've never seen this before. Play an auto version of level you are trying. If you can get it. Because it helps more than like a YouTube video. And sometimes even more than practice mode. Not really but. Yeah if you don't want to have to run through in practice mode. Just play an auto version of it. Because if you like take off low detail mode and stuff and the objects are invisible, gives you better perspective of what you'll actually be doing when you play the level. And of course it's going from start to finish, not with checkpoints. Unless you play auto levels with checkpoints, in which case you're a tug of it. Okay, so number five here. If the music helps you helps you sync your jumps, then make sure you listen to it. If it distracts you, then don't listen to it. I always listen to it, no matter what, but I sometimes listen to it, like, with really low volume, sometimes, on, like, a difficult demon lot. And, um, this one's really just for people who have shitty device like me. Use low detail mode to reduce lag. That's obvious. Seven, time your jumps late. Now, often, when you're doing a free spike jump, you should be jumping late. Often, if you jump like a block before, you aren't going to clear three blocks. But, um, yeah, if it's actually a demon level, you should probably just try to jump in the middle timing, kind of not too early, not too late. Because often, if you jump too early, you might hear hit a spike. If you jump too late, you're you'll maybe I know hear spike that's in front of it, maybe I know, um. Make sure you look in front of your icon, not like at your icon. If you look at your icon, you're not going to see what's ahead of you. 
and you are going to like die quite a lot trying to beat level and that's even if you like honestly sexy okay and nine is um get good okay if you're if you aren't good at a game at all you're taking thousands and thousands of attempts literally on staring madness you aren't going to beat staring madness more or less ever and you definitely won't be good at a game so if you if you can't beat staring madness stop playing okay sorry if i'm a bit harsh yeah. don't play if you are tired or distracted or really hot and sweaty obviously um for mobile players this applies for most because if you have sweaty hands often the, um your device won't actually register your taps a lot and if you're tired which i always am it stops you from using your full potential really 11 is never give up unless you take like 10,000 attempts in practice mode which yeah yeah that's stupid but okay 12 i know for facts no one else has said this either get bigger icons to give you a better perspective on the hitboxes and i don't always do this but it does help me a lot when i do do it since it makes me co more conscious of the spikes and therefore it just makes my brain automatically like avoid them more and even if like because if because it's the same hitbox no matter what skin you wear at least i think it works like that um i just said skin should say icon um i'm pretty sure it's still the same hitbox so it was like it you would just automatically avoid spikes better more or less now don't hold that's 13 don't hold especially in the ship mode only do it if you ever have to often you would have to in demons and stuff it's easier to just mash a button or whatever and of of course it allows you to have better control than just holding so if you hold especially when you're in a mini ship you are immediately get, just going to go to the top and if there's if there's like spikes at the top of the area or something you are going to die immediately okay now 14 you need to ignore the number of attempts you have because if you constantly look at the attempts number which I used to when I was like still on back on the fucking track. Um, it will stress you a lot, and of course, it will distract you a lot as well. And it only makes the game harder for you, really. That's what she said. Okay. Um, fifteen. So last one. Get practice in any spare time you have. Now. It's the only way I managed to beat Dead Rock Club's Death and Toe 2, because any spare time I had, when driving on a car to somewhere, freaking, I don't know, just chilling or something, I would immediately just stop Geometry Dash, start playing Toe 2, Club's Death or Dead Rock. Okay, those are my tips. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, the tips are mainly directed towards mobile players. A lot of them would help PC players, though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.